Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Apple 4K TV or your Apple TV 4K uh, to the TV using the HDMI cable and uh, do it the quickest way with an iPhone or an iPad. So first, we're going to need to connect the Apple TV to the TV itself. So here on this one here, the two things that you really need is the HDMI and the power cables. Now this port down here is the USB uh, C uh, type port, you don't really need it. And this is the internet port, that is for your network cable, the ethernet cables, you also don't really need it unless you want to connect this uh, box directly into the Wi-Fi router. Otherwise, you can use the wireless uh, methods and uh, you can stream uh, using Wi-Fi. So first we're going to connect using the power cable and the HDMI cable. Now here I'm going to have the cables uh, plug in. This is the power cables. So um, we're just going to uh, plug it right in, in here. And then plug in the HDMI cables. So just going to plug it in like this. And once it is in, you can just let the Apple TV box rest on uh, next to the TV. So here I'm going to just put next to the TV. And with your remote control, get your TV remote control and we're going to switch it. I'm going to switch the input source to HDMI uh, 2. So that's active, so we're just going to select that. And here we are, we're going to connect to the Apple TV. And this is what it looks like when we first boot up uh, Apple TV 4K. Okay, so with Apple TV, there is a remote control. Let's first press on the menu button to get started. This one here is just uh, keep switching up and down. So let's see, uh, press on this button here at the top to get started. And then you can use this uh, pad here. This is like a pad. You can swipe it up and down. You can see, you can swipe it up and down to go to the next menu. And we're going to choose English. So press on the remote control here. Press on it. And then choose your region. And then press on it. And then press on it to continue. Then choose whether to use Siri or don't use Siri. I'm going to choose use Siri and then choose share audio recordings or not now. Then instead of setting up manually, we want to set up using with a device uh, such as an iPhone or an iPad. This is the easiest way and the quickest way. So it basically transfer all your Wi-Fi settings uh, over to the Apple TV. Also, if you have uh, sign in with your uh, Apple ID, that information is also transferred over. So you don't have to uh, manually put them in. So we're gonna choose set up device, set up with a device and we're gonna press on this button here to select. Okay, so the next step is to turn on your phone. So here I'm going to turn on the phone and then I'm going to put in the passcode. So you need a, a passcode to do this. Okay, now we're going to go into settings from the home screen and then tap on Bluetooth. You also need to have Wi-Fi turned on. So make sure you have connected to Wi-Fi on your iPhone or iPad and then tap on Bluetooth and make sure Bluetooth is turned on and you can see here, if it does not detect, um, so after waiting for around 30 seconds, if your phone does not detect Apple TV, basically just um, switch off. So I'm just going to cancel that. So let's say if, just, if it's just going to spin around in a circle, after 30 seconds or a minute, just press on the power button to lock your phone. And then we're just going to sign back in. So I'm just going to go back into the home screen and then switch off Bluetooth and then switch on. So just in case if you have a problem, try that and then tap on setup. Okay. Tap on setup and now it is connecting. So on the TV, it has a number 1714. Then we're going to put it onto the phone 1714. And now it's connecting. You can see it's a setting up your Apple TV. So now the information such as Wi-Fi information and your Apple ID information is getting transferred to the Apple TV box. So you don't have to enter in manually. It's uh, automatically transfer the credentials and other settings over to the TV, which makes things uh, a lot easier. Uh, definitely a lot easier to set up your TV using this method uh, instead of uh, doing it manually. Another thing is uh, after setting up, 
your Apple TV, you may need to update uh, the software, update your OS, depending if you uh, re have recently uh, just purchased the box. The box might have an old, an older operating system, so Tower's operating system needs to be updated for you to use. Okay, next we go on to um, say, do we want to require password? I'm going to choose never require. Just uh, saving my me time later on, having keep putting in password, and then I'm going to press on this button here. So remember to use your remote control to con to select. And I say setting up your Apple TV, and then we're just going to wait now uh, for it to set up Apple TV. It says here, one home screen on every uh, Apple TV. You can choose to turn on or not now. It's your choice. I want to uh, tap on, turn on. And then you can choose where is this uh, box located. In the bedroom, games room, guest room, home cinema. I'm going to choose bedroom. And then you can choose to enable location services or not. And then choose to automatically download or not now. So this will allow the, the Apple TV to download aerial screen savers and other things. So I'm going to choose automatically download and press on the button. And then you can uh, choose to send analytics data to Apple or not. So I'm going to choose send to Apple. I don't really mind. And you can choose to share with app developers or not. If you don't want to, you can swap across like this. And then select don't share. And then choose agree or disagree. So we have to agree if you want to use it. So I'm going to choose agree. And that's it. We now have successfully set up your uh, Apple TV, but we also want to install all the apps as well. So what we're going to do is um, go up and swipe across to apps. So using your remote control to navigate, swipe across to apps. And then once the app is selected, press on the button. And now you can see it's gone to here. Uh, press on continued. And then you can choose uh, swipe across here. You can uh, swipe up to the top bar there. And then swipe across to apps. And then you can go down and see what apps is available for you to use. Uh, normally all the popular apps uh, appears at the top. You can see it's got um, Disney Plus. Uh, YouTube, Stan, Netflix. So if you want to watch Netflix, you can install it. I'm going to um, install YouTube first and then press on the button here. So we have uh, select YouTube and then press on the button again to download. You can see over here this button here is uh, downloading. So make sure that it's downloading and we wait for the download to complete. Okay, so now YouTube has been installed. You can open it or you can uh, go back Press on the menu key to go back. So press on the menu key here to go back and we can continue to install all the apps like Netflix or Stan. So install whatever you like. So here um, we're going to scroll down. So scroll, scroll across and then press on this button here. And then Netflix is there. And then you can scroll down and read some information about it. Now you can scroll up and then press on get. And now we're getting uh, Netflix. And that's it. So install whatever apps you like uh, while you are, you are at it. Now we can press on the mute key to go back after Netflix has been installed. And let's go back. So continue to press on the mute key to go back. And then I'm going to press on the mute key again to go back to the home screen. And from here you can see two additional apps has been installed, YouTube and Netflix. So press on YouTube and now we can start playing YouTube. Now you also can sign in to your YouTube app because once you sign in, it got things like it will keep a history of what you watch. So later you can easily return back to the movies that you've been watching or to a video that you've been watching. So here you can sign in with your phone. So connect with the YouTube app. So you can use your phone, so it will copy the credential over, or you can manually uh, sign in, so that is totally up to you. But that's it, that's how you can uh, uh, connect your Apple uh, TV 4K, then uh, copy the settings from iPhone over, so copy the settings from the phone over to the TV box, and then you can uh, also 
um, update apps. Sometimes you may run into troubles of updating apps because the operating system of the TV box is too old. So in that case, what you can do is go to the menu. So if you're ever in trouble, just always try to press on the menu button to go back to the home screen. So here you can see I can't um, go back here. I'm trying to press on the menu key, but it's not going back. You have to press it, hold it a little bit longer and then go into settings. So swipe across to go into settings and then go to system. So swipe down like this, go into system, then go into software updates and then tap on update software and then it will update your Apple TV automatically. If there is a new software, it will try to update. If you already have the latest one, then it will say your Apple TV is up to date. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.